Kill far note, back again. We've got another fish uh, that we're going to process today. This one's a bit different. This is um, a green bone. So we get these down in Southern Waters quite quite a bit, um, probably a bit more predominant down here than what it is back up in the, um, the Bay of Islands. Not that I've done a lot of diving up there, but didn't see, see much last time we we're up there. So yeah, this is um, some of the best tasting fish around that a lot of us divers believe. Blue cod. When it comes to blue cod and green bone, a lot of us will prefer the green bone over the blue cod. So we'll get started. Very similar if you've seen part one and part two. Um, I showed the knives that I use, so it's just a butcher knife. I've got a head splitting knife over here and then a good steel. So all we want to make sure is that our knife is sharp. As long as it's sharp, you're going to have a good time cutting. If it's not, terrible. So the thing to notice with these fish is they have a real fine layer of um, scales. If your knife is blunt, Take the scales off, it makes it a hell of a lot easier. Instead of having a fight through and it becomes dangerous when you fight with the blunt knife. So with this one, same as the Moki, coming on a 45, cut down, you'll see I've cut down quite easily. And then I flip this one around. And then keep it keep the cut as close as I can to that fin. So with these fish, because they are a beautiful tasting fish and the flesh, you don't want to go wasting any of that flesh on there. So you notice I cut nice and close, still keeping that same pitch down on the knife. And you'll notice why they call it a green bone as you go through. So to this point I go up and over the ribs, same as all the other fish that we've done. And then that's it. So from that point, just cut her over, slide your knife down. And there's your first fillet off. Now that is a beautiful, beautiful um, fillet. The easiest way to go from here is take all those scales off as you go if you want. So just use your knife like we've done with the Moki, flick it off. Nice fillet there. Now for this, flip it over. Same cut again. Back in on the 45. Sorry, fun, I've got to speed it up. Running out of time. Come back in on the tail. And then slide up. No point, it's just the same process as we've done with the Moki. Beautiful. Right, skinning, all the same. And same as uh, same as the bone line for our Moki. So skin, make it look quick and easy. After you do this a couple of times, Fano, come piece of cake. So flip that over. So our, our, our uh, puku line where the puku come out, take those bones out, same as the moki, bone line's in the same place. So we flipped it over so we could map it a bit easier. Make sure you keep all your offcuts for the smoker. If you haven't got a smoker, chuck them in the pot. Alright Fano, thank you very much and that's us skinning and boning a green bone. Kia ora.